The Center for American Progress (CAP) is a public policy research and advocacy organization which presents a liberal viewpoint on economic and social issues. It has its headquarters in Washington, D.C. The President and Chief Executive Officer of CAP is Neera Tanden, who worked for the Obama and Clinton administrations and for Hillary Clinton's campaigns. The first President and CEO was John Podesta, who has served as White House Chief of Staff to U.S. President Bill Clinton and as the Chairman of the 2016 presidential campaign of Hillary Clinton. Podesta remained with the organization as chairman of the board until he joined the Obama White House staff in December 2013. Tom Daschle is the current chairman. The Center for American Progress has a youth engagement organization, Generation Progress, and a sister advocacy organization, the Center for American Progress Action Fund. Citing Podesta's influence in the formation of the Obama administration, a November 2008 article in Time stated that, "...not since the Heritage Foundation helped guide Ronald Reagan's transition in 1981 has a single outside group held so much sway." History and mission The Center for American Progress was created in 2003 as a left-leaning alternative to think tanks such as the Heritage Foundation and the American Enterprise Institute. Since its inception, the center has assembled a group of high-profile senior fellows, including Lawrence Korb, Assistant Secretary of Defense under President Ronald Reagan, Gene Sperling, Director of the National Economic Council under Presidents Bill Clinton and Barack Obama, Rai Tikshera, political scientist and author of the emerging Democratic majority, and, most recently, former Senate Minority Leader Tom Daschle and Elizabeth Edwards, late wife of former presidential candidate and former U.S. Senator from North Carolina John Edwards. Sarah Rosen Wartel, a co-founder and executive vice president of the center, has been named president of the Urban Institute Center helped Congressman John Murtha DPA develop strategic redeployment a comprehensive plan for the Iraq War that included a timetable and troop withdrawals. <laughs> <laughs> Activities <laughs> Think progress Think progress is a blog edited by Judd Legum that provide s a forum that advances progressive ideas and policies it is an outlet of the center for american progress topic <laughs> <laughs> generation progress generation progress was launched in february 2005 and is caps youth outreach arm According to the organization, Generation Progress partners with over a million millennials. Topic: <laughs> Center for American Progress Action Fund. Formerly known simply as the American Progress Action Fund, the Center for American Progress Action Fund (CAP Action) is a sister advocacy organization and is organizationally and financially separate from CAP, although they share many staff and a physical address. Politico wrote in April 2011 that it "...openly runs political advocacy campaigns, and plays a central role in the Democratic Party's infrastructure, and the new reporting staff down the hall isn't exactly walled off from that message machine, nor does it necessarily keep its distance from liberal groups organizing advocacy campaigns targeting conservatives." Whereas CAP is a 501 C3 nonprofit, CAP Action is a 501 C4, allowing it to devote more funds to lobbying. In 2003, George Soros promised to financially support the organization by donating up to $3 million. CAP Action is headed by Neera Tanden. The Moscow Project is one of its initiatives. Topic. Washington Center for Equitable Growth 
The Washington Center for Equitable Growth, also known simply as Equitable Growth, is a research and grant-making organization founded in 2013 and housed at the Center for American Progress. Equitable Growth funds academic research in economics and other social sciences, with a particular interest in government's role in the distribution of economic growth and the role of public perceptions of fairness in shaping government policy. Topic. Science Progress Science Progress was an Internet publication about progressive science and technology policy. Science Progress was a project of the Center for American Progress. Its mission was, "...to improve the understanding of science among policymakers and other thought leaders and to develop exciting, progressive ideas about innovation in science and technology for the United States in the 21st century." It began publication on the 4th of October 2007, the 50th anniversary of the launch of Sputnik 1. Content on the website included news, in-depth essays, and text and audio-based interviews. The Science Progress staff included editor-in-chief Jonathan D. Marino. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Policies. Topic. Health care In 2017, the center opposed Bernie Sanders' single-payer health plan. Critics said that this was because of funding from the health care industry, such as the Blue Cross Blue Shield Association, the Health Care Service Corporation and America's health insurance plans, who would be eliminated under Sanders' plan. In 2018, the center proposed an alternative to single-payer that would offer patients and employers a choice between government coverage and private insurance. Criticism Lack of transparency for funding sources Some open government groups, such as the Sunlight Foundation and the Campaign Legal Center, criticized the center's failure to disclose its contributors, particularly since it was so influential in appointments to the Obama administration. Israel controversy CAP was criticized by several Jewish organizations after some employees publicly used language that could be construed as anti-Israel or even anti-Semitic." Bloggers associated with CAP published several posts using phrases such as, "...apartheid," and "...Israel firsters," causing NGO Monitor, the American Jewish Committee, and the Anti-Defamation League to label them anti-Israel and call on CAP to disassociate themselves from these statements. Officials at CAP said the inappropriate language came only in personal tweets not on CAP's website or its Think Progress blog. The tweets were deleted, and the authors apologized. Other writers, however, criticized CAP for what they saw as censorship of reasonable comments critical of Israeli settlements and other policies. Based on leaked emails, columnist Glenn Greenwald, for example, wrote that CAP had deleted references to Israeli settlement policies in reports by their staffers. Greenwald and others also criticized CAP for hosting a meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, while Netanyahu was hostile to the Obama administration. Greenwald described CAP's positions as servitude to AIPAC and pandering to Netanyahu. Eighteen organizations and over 100 academics signed an open letter, circulated by Jewish Voice for Peace and the Arab American Institute, against the meeting. 26,300 people signed a petition opposing the meeting. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> WikiLeaks 2016 Hillary Clinton campaign controversy. 
After the release by WikiLeaks of stolen Podesta emails, the Center for American Progress was attacked based on emails sent between John Halpin, a senior fellow at the Center for American Progress, and Jennifer Palmieri, a Hillary Clinton campaign team member. The Washington Post characterized the comments as joking. Kellyanne Conway and others called them anti-Catholic attacks. Topic. Funding The Center for American Progress is a 501 organization under U.S. Internal Revenue Code. In 2014, CAP received $45 million from a variety of sources, including individuals, foundations, labor unions, and corporations. From 2003 to 2007, CAP received about $15 million in grants from 58 foundations. Major individual donors include George Soros, Peter Lewis, Steve Bing, and Herb and Marion Sandler. The center receives undisclosed sums from corporate donors. In December 2013, the organization released a list of its corporate donors, which include Walmart, Citigroup, Wells Fargo, defense contractor Northrop Grumman, America's Health Insurance Plans, and Eli Lilly and Company. In 2015, CAP released a partial list of its donors, which included 28 anonymous donors accounting for at least $5 million in contributions. Named donors included the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Embassy of the United Arab Emirates, which each gave between $500,000 and $999,999. CAP's top donors include Walmart and Citigroup, each of which have given between $100,000 and $499,000. See also Policy Network